Welcome to Battle of the Maze, where you get to cheer on your favorite gladiator. Make sure to tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, where I, Beans, will be battling Xandar the Legend, the puny, in the arena. But instead of fighting to the death, we are fighting for your votes. Who will you choose to be victorious in today's battle? To cast your vote, you just need to be subscribed to this channel and be following us on Twitter, so make sure you do that before you leave today. Simply retweet today's episode with hashtag Team Xandar or hashtag Team Beans, and you decide the winner. Each vote gives you a chance to also win a glorious prize if your gladiator ends up being the ultimate champion. So, just saying, hashtag Team Beans wouldn't hurt anything. I feel like that was really swayed towards you this time. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Who's our shout out today? We do have a shout out today. We're going to try and do one of those leech every episode. Today's shout out goes to the Clever Cuber. You've been watching for a while. We've heard from you. We've talked. We appreciate it. And so here's the shout out as promised. Now, get ready for this fight. <clears throat> I got to stretch real quick. I don't want to pull a hammy. All right, well, I'm going into it. I'm starting this thing off real slow and steady. Slow and steady. Got good. I got a good feeling about this. The you know these Golgari colors. Yeah, I know. Oh, abrupt decay. Modern card definitely oh. making me win this. A black and a green abrupt decay can't be countered by spells or abilities. Destroy target non land permanent with converted man cost three or less. That's Are you the, not entertained? <laughs> that is uh, definitely not how I wanted to uh, see this start. I had a rogue's passage in there too. Mm. What'd you pull? You didn't even say what you pulled. It's 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 not what you pulled. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take that. Second pull is a crypt guest, dusty plane commander. So that's not too bad. Mine's a sepulchral primordial. A what? I don't know. I tried to read it sideways. I don't recommend that anyone ever tries to do that. All right, first pack of Dragon Maze in today's battle. Scab Clan, John Hanks, my uncommon, War Leader's Helix. Give and take, and my rare is Rook Thar, the Unbowed. Four uncolored, a red and a green. Uh, Vigilance Reach, 6-6. Six, six. He attacks each turn of Able. Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, Rook Thar does six damage to that creature. To that player, sorry, that player. That's ridiculous. Oh, here comes Beans Rare out of Dragon Maze, and there's a foil behind it, so we'll see if that puts Ooh. us in the lead. So we got Renounce the Guilds. It's one colorless and one white. It's an instant. Each player sacrifices a multicolored permanent and a foil Demir Clue Stone. Ooh. It's a three colorless. It's an artifact. You tap it to add blue or black to your mana pool. You can pay a blue and a black and tap it to sacrifice it and draw a card. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Still have yet to see a shock land in this series. I'm beginning to think it's a myth. I'm not going to lie. That's really what I've been pulling for and hoping to get out of the series with some shock lands. So. Hopefully that changes as we go along. My first uncommons, a Tristani Summoner, a Give and Take, Turn and Burn. Ooh, I've got, I've got some foils here too. I've got to renounce the guilds, go figure that. And a Is It Guildgate foil. Ooh. Blue and red, it's the colors right now. Where I've got a Voral of the Whole Clade. It's one colorless, one green and a blue. Uh, it's a 1-4. Uh, green and blue and tap it. For each counter on target, artifact, creature, or land, put another of those counters on that permanent. Wow. The fight is real today. Oh my gosh. The struggle. The battle between friends. I gotta protect and serve. A rock farm skeleton. A wear and tear, which she's playing modern sideboards. And a pontiff of blight. Four double black, two and seven with extort. Other creatures you control have extort as well. And then nothing fancy. You know, I did forget an elemental token is worth some money. So I, you can put an elemental token in your pile. We're allowed, oh, to, okay. we're allowed to do okay. that. Okay. Now that we haven't well, been watching. My rare was a catch and release. So for one colorless, blue and red, a resource where you gain control of target permanent until end of turn, untap it against haste until end of turn. And the release portion, four colorless, red and a white, each player sacrifices an artifact, a creature, and an enchantment, a land, and a planeswalker. Gosh, gosh, that would be a pain. Ooh, my last pack in today's battle. This is what it all comes down to, Xandar. Voice of Resurgence, maybe? I don't know. You're the call. You're the one with the call out. Success. Ooh, not today, not today, but at soon. A Senate Law Mage. Wear and tear again. I'm getting a place out of wear and tears. That's good. War Leader Helix. And another Scion of that you would ever that you know. Mine's a Exava Rakdos Blood Witch. Two wow. colorless, black and a red. First strike and haste and unleash. Each other creature I control with a plus one plus one counter on it has haste. It's three three. And just a Boros Guildgate. So 
That's this episode. Who do you think everyone's going to choose today, Xandar? I don't know. I think it's a rough call. Don't forget, you're voting for either Team Xandar, hashtag Team Xandar, or hashtag Team Beans. These are the different piles for each one of who you're voting on today's episode. I'd just like to see the comments and the retweets, and we'll see. I guess we will. Like, comment, subscribe.